I just want to touch on a societal thing. Do you think the architecture field represents women the way it should do? And then also women of ethnic minorities as well. Um, I never saw, actually, I never even knew many architects, let alone female architects. And even now, I work at Louis Vuitton now, there's a lot of females. So it's a nice place to build. There's representation there, as in like there's female leaders. And I think that's really incredible to see and for such a huge company. And it is like really strong women and it's people to look up to. Whereas previously, it's always been, there's always been males in higher positions and you never really saw females in those types of positions unless they've, they're single and they've just dedicated their life to yeah, work. Which is a shame, isn't it? Because yeah. it makes the idea of having children as some form of a burden that holds you back. And it's not because no. it, it's a miracle of life to be able to give life. Yeah. People shouldn't be punished for trying to live that part of their life. I think the beauty of this profession is that you can work for yourself. And so everything you learn, especially in the UK, I don't know if it's because... From what I've spoken to people in Paris, you don't learn so much the business side of architecture, but doing your part three qualification enables you to set up your own practice, enables you to understand like contract law, hiring process and all of these things and how to run a business. So I think it's a very empowering career knowing that you can either work for someone or work for yourself. So to have a family and things like that, I've, I've never felt like work had to come at cost to that yeah and architecture has not necessarily at the top so when you think of a great female architect often the list is not that long and it's Zaha Hadid but she was innovative like no other right however architecture school and the architecture workplace is much more representative than most other industries that is one thing that I've realized yeah so Thinking back to undergrad and masters, over 50% were always girls. Yeah, that's true. Throughout the whole of studies, it was like majority. So architecture is actually quite friendly yeah. to, or better for females than, um, yeah. than most other professions. Yeah. But you're right, at the top, it can be a bit more difficult. But I think that just goes back to people also maybe feel like they can't have both. Mm. Neither of us have kids, so maybe it's hard to understand yeah. the level of pressure that might bring. But certainly I agree that with architecture, it can be easier to thrive as a woman than it is as, um, in other professions. But if there was one thing that you could change to make it easier for women, do you have an idea of what that would be? I think don't be afraid to push yourself. As in, like, have confidence in what you're doing and what you enjoy doing. For me, this has never felt like work. So it's like I always wanted to find something where I just enjoy doing it because whilst being brought up, it was always like do something you enjoy, do something you enjoy. And it, but it always felt like what is there that you can do that's work and you enjoy it? And so architecture for me was the perfect match where it is highly technical, it's highly creative, it's a respected profession, and it's work that I enjoy doing. But it is so, a slow grind, isn't it? A very, very slow grind. Mm -hmm. As in, it takes, you have to be committed, 100% committed. So my advice would be, is if you find something that you feel like you can commit to and you can see where you are going to end up on the other end, then commit to that journey. But you have to take it day by day, like or like set yourself milestones so that you can keep pushing forward because it is... A lot of people you see now, it's like, oh, it's not giving me results, so I'm going to do something else. Got to be patient. Yeah, you have to have patience. You have to trust that you know where you're going. The good thing is that with the university degree, it's like, you know, I'm going to be doing this for the next seven years to qualify. Yeah. As advice, it's like if you want to go down a certain direction, Make sure you're building each step of the way.
Otherwise, you you take a back step, you pivot into something else. And yes, it's good to be well-rounded, but you can be well-rounded in a direction. Because I think sometimes people lose their direction and it's like, okay, now I don't know what to do. But it starts with enjoying what you do, but then making sure that actually you can still live. As if, <laughs> I don't know how... No, no, I get what you're saying. Um, first and foremost, when you have a vision, you know what you're aiming for. Mm. You know you know what you're aiming for, you know what your target is. Therefore, it makes every day easier. The hardest thing in this modern society seems to be people not knowing what to do. Yeah. And people, for example, going into the workplace or into university and being a bit more focused on the social aspect of life, which I don't blame people for. You're sending these 18-year-olds sometimes to another city to live on their own with random people, mm. and you almost naively expect them to sit around and say, well, yeah, all I'm going to do for the next three, four years is head down every day in the library. We don't do enough to educate the young generation about the ramifications of these next four years of your life, you know? Okay. So, okay. I went off on a tangent because I didn't know how to work my answer. And now but, you have it. Yeah. You said about going into university with a certain intention and often it is to go out party for me it was never that I was going to university to work to get the degree and to get a job which is like I think it was just again you had that vision yeah it was very clear to me because I and what helps is because I enjoyed all of that process but I think the advice I would give is that Expose yourself to as many different career paths as possible, which is hard to do just through school because teachers don't know unless they've done it. Like a big problem is that we're taking advice from people that haven't done what we want to do. 